once voted one of the best places to live in the U.S. Many Americans have relocated to Colorado Springs, Colorado. However, there is a mountain of evidence on why moving to the Centennial State may not be the best idea. Welcome to Across the Globe, and today we give you 7 reasons why not to move to Colorado Springs, Colorado. We start our list with… Number 1. Geographical Location at the peak of our list of reasons not to move to Colorado Springs is the geographic location and how it affects the quality of life. Due to the higher elevation and neighboring mountain ranges around Colorado Springs, the climate is very dry. The geographical factors also cause extreme winters, sudden temperature changes throughout the day, frequent droughts, wildfires, dry skin, dry throat, nosebleeds, and elevation sickness. To cope with these, lip balm, moisturizer, staying properly hydrated, and even sunscreen are a must year-round. There is an increased risk of sunburn and skin cancer in Colorado Springs due to increased UV exposure and higher elevations. With cycles of falling and melting snow in winter, poor road conditions and constant road repairs are a constant pain. Number 2. Air Quality The next reason not to move to Colorado Springs is the poor air quality. While some Colorado residents claim that the air quality is the best in Colorado, there are many pollutants. The state of Colorado, especially Colorado Springs, has extremely high ozone levels. Also, wildfires, which are a major problem in Colorado Springs, pollute the air with fine particulates and soot. This spells trouble for those with respiratory issues. It is especially concerning for the elderly or young ones with asthma. Long-term exposure to these conditions increases the risk of heart and lung disease. The only way to avoid the high ozone levels is by constantly staying indoors. Number 3. It's Haunted Another reason not to move to Colorado Springs is it's haunted. Colorado Springs has a dark history of murder, alien encounters, a community of witches, ghost sightings, and haunted places. Some of these occurrences date back to the Native American tribes that originated in the area, including an ancient dumping ground filled with human remains. There have been reports from disappearing cattle to people being attacked by an egg-carrying, cane-wielding ghost. Most of the downtown restaurants are believed to be haunted, one of which used to be the city morgue. And there's that weird lake filled with diesel fuel inside Cheyenne Mountain. To top it off, Colorado has had more mass shootings than any other state in the country, with at least four in Colorado Springs in the last 15 years. To sum it up, Colorado Springs is not a quiet, safe town. Number 4. The Slow Life Reason number four for not moving to Colorado Springs is life is very much a slow life. Life in Colorado Springs is basic and plain. In fact, it's downright boring. If hiking or biking up trails isn't your thing, and you prefer a little more excitement than visiting the Ghost Town Museum or attending the annual Rocky Mountain Oyster Festival, where the oysters are actually deep-fried bull testicles, then Colorado Springs is not the place for you. Voted one of the worst places to staycation, there is zero nightlife, and the closest casino is an hour away. Don't expect any shopping for luxury brands or high fashion boutiques in Colorado Springs, because they don't have any. For that, the closest is Denver. Otherwise, prepare to look plain Jane while living the plain life in the Great Plains. Which leads us to our next reason not to move there. Number 5. No Professional Sports Teams Sorry sports fans, Colorado Springs doesn't have a single professional sports team. While it is the Olympic City, Colorado Springs doesn't have a pro sports team of their own to root for, besides soccer. Any big soccer fans out there? We didn't think so. If you enjoy real sports like football, basketball, baseball, or hockey, you will have to travel 60 miles to Denver to catch a game. Sure, you could rep the local high school teams and the Denver pro teams like most residents of Colorado Springs do, or you could do that where you live now. If you are going to relocate, at least move someplace that can give you a home team you can root for. And we don't mean the Rocky Mountain Oysters. Number 6. Nothing is close together 
Sprawl is next on our list of reasons not to move to Colorado Springs. Unless you're planning to live in downtown Colorado Springs, you will need a car. With current gas prices, this could be the deal breaker. A large part of Colorado City has a zero walkability score, and everything is so spread out that cycling isn't even a viable option. If you have children, your children will not be able to walk to school. Depending on what school they go to, you may have to drive them to and from school every day. Because some Colorado Springs schools do not bus at all. There are some transit options, but not a lot and not citywide. Also, since you will be going to Denver for shopping, sports, and recreation most of the time, a car is a necessity and a great set of snow tires. The winters, although short, are brutal in Colorado Springs. Most locals will say you need AWD or 4WD to get around, but you will at least need good snow tires. Otherwise, prepare to be stuck on snow-covered roads. The last reason is… Number 7. Overcrowded Our final reason not to move to Colorado Springs is how overcrowded it has gotten. If your reason for relocating is to escape crime, traffic, and homelessness, those things are everywhere, and Colorado Springs is no exception. If you are tired of the hustle and bustle of city life and think Colorado Springs is where you want to be, you're in for a rude awakening. Surprisingly, even with all the overcrowding, the culture is still very stale and boring. With more and more people relocating to Colorado Springs, the population has grown considerably in the past few years. Locals complain of overcrowding and an ill-equipped infrastructure. Colorado Springs also struggles with their water supply, due to water having to be pumped in from the mountains. Droughts are also a growing threat in the city, causing water restrictions due to overpopulation. Residents and city government struggle to keep lawns and green spaces green due to the dry conditions and droughts, so the grass literally is not greener in Colorado Springs. Which reason why not to move to Colorado Springs surprised you? Feel free to let us know in the comments section below. And if you liked this video and want to get more insights on other cities, watch these two videos right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.